Hey guys, Dwayne here. A couple of weeks ago I made a video about homemade ninja throwing spikes. And then a few days later I made a video about homemade ninja throwing stars. Well, something weird happened <laughs> after those two videos. <laughs> I just couldn't get enough of the throwing stars and the throwing spikes and so I just kept making them and throwing them. I built a wooden target. Um, I've been uh, printing out paper stars for templates and uh, yeah I've, I've already got a, yeah, a fair collection <laughs> of homemade throwing knives, throwing stars, and throwing spikes. So I'm going to show you what I have and uh, yeah, let me let me know what you think of this uh, and if you have any suggestions for something I haven't thought of. All right. Okay, first I'll show you my spikes from the previous video. This is 12 inches long, 3 eighths inch diameter. It's a giant nail from Home Depot. I couldn't get this to stick in wood and I now know why. I thought it was because it was just too beefy, too massive, but I didn't have a pointy enough point on it. All right. Um, I could fix it and make it so it sticks, but it, it is just massive. Um, I don't really think it's good for throwing. Uh, maybe long distances, but I'm not there yet. So I'm just going to hang on to this and uh, maybe do something with it later. This was a 10 inch nail I found years ago. I I put a put a pretty decent point on it. And I am experimenting with heat treating the tips. I heated it up over an alcohol stove until it turned blue and then quenched it in water. I don't know if that's the correct procedure, but I'm just experimenting. All right. So 10 inch nail that I found. These are the 10 inch nails that Home Depot now sells. They're actually the same diameter as the 12 inch. They're 3 eighths inch. All right, so they're pretty heavy at 10 inches. All right, um, but uh, yeah, they're heavy, but they work. Um, they're not my favorite. All right. Um, what is my favorite throwing spike so far? These are tent stakes from Harbor Freight. Doc Inc. suggested this to me. Um, they are a little less than 10 inches. They're about nine and a half when you saw the heads off. And, but they are, they're big and heavy and zinc plated, which is kind of cool. Uh, very shiny. I've only made one so far into a spike because I just got them this morning. And yeah, this is my favorite spike. It's a little over nine inches. Um, yeah, we'll call it nine and a half inches. And I did heat treat the tip. Um, again, I'm not sure if I'm doing it right, but it's it's an experiment. So yeah, these these tent sticks from Harbor Freight were on sale for three dollars for six and. Yeah, I really like them. <laughs> I'm going to turn all these nails into throwing spikes. All right. Uh, taking the head off is a good idea because you want it to slide out of your hand. All right. Okay, also another idea um, from Doc Inc. And thank you for, <laughs> for your suggestions. <laughs> um, some of the things you've already tried. <laughs> I tried and uh, yeah, it's, it's working out. These are six inch nails. I believe they're 60 penny 
is the terminology for them. And yeah, they're they're six inches long. Um, they're pretty pretty close to a quarter inch diameter. Exactly a quarter inch diameter. These work, um, but I kind of like the longer ones better. It's a personal preference, right? I'm glad I didn't buy a bunch of expensive ninja darts and stuff because experimenting with the homemade stuff lets me know exactly what I like. All right, these work really well. Uh, I can stick them every time, and so yeah, they're kind of cool. I might put uh, ribbons or yarn on them so they don't get lost in the grass when I miss the target. Okay, uh, these are flat bar spikes. This was actually a 24 inch long bar. Um, it's not very thick and it's not hard metal. It's soft metal, but I found it at the thrift store for 50 cents for the long bar, cut it in half, rounded the ends, uh, already had a hole in one end, put the points on. These are 10 inches long. They throw really nice. They stick every time. All right. I, I kind of like them. I wish I had some harder steel to make some more of these. Uh, might happen in the future. Okay. Um, random pieces of metal can be turned into throwing knives. All right. Or a throwing spike, whatever you want to call it. Uh, this is just a just a random piece of metal, uh, seven and a half inches long that I found. Um, the end was flat. I rounded it off. And put a point on it. Yeah, it's, it's not perfect, but it sticks. That works good. All right. Um, this thing... <laughs> Talk about random. This this had a this type of hook on both ends. All right, so I I cut it down, ground it with the grinder, and it's pretty thick. It's nice and heavy. This is eight and a half inches long. This works really well. <laughs> it's pretty easy to stick it in wood at ten feet. All right. Okay, what else? Uh, this was a big ass steak knife with a plastic handle. The handle uh, was broken when I got it and it kept breaking so I, I cut it all the way off. Um, it works okay but it's very thin. Um, Mm, I wouldn't really recommend it. I bought it at the thrift store for 75 cents. Um, it's, it's just too thin, too light. All right. So half of the time it bounces off the target. Other things that don't work very well. This is another steak knife. I bought it at the thrift store for 50 cents. The handle was not broken when I bought it, but it is now. It, this is like crap for a throwing knife. Don't even bother. <laughs> uh, the blade is very thin and it's very handle heavy. All right, Very hard to get it to stick. Same thing with butter knives. I thought these might be a good way to go. Put a point on them. But no. They're too thin, they're too light, and they're too handle heavy. You know, I can get them to stick, but they're crap. Okay, on to throwing stars. I I really like the four-point design. It's simple, and it sticks every time. Uh, so these are printouts of cold steel <laughs> throwing stars <laughs> I found online. 
and I use them for templates. This is my very first throwing star. You saw the video on this. Um, I didn't intentionally make the um, blades curved. It just happened because, as it turns out, my hacksaw had a bent blade. All right, uh, but it is kind of cool. People have said they like the design with the curved points, and and it works. It sticks every time. All right, I put a new blade on my hacksaw, and now it cuts straight. Oh, I put an L on this because I want that on my left side when I'm throwing, so it goes like this. Yeah, seems to stick better. Anyway, this is the second one I made. These are made from, I believe it's a four inch switch plate cover. 60 cents at Home Depot. All right. Then I found five inch switch plate, switch plate covers for $1.20, twice the price, but Look at that star. <laughs> that's, that's a perfect size. All right. Oh, let me give you the size on these. The, the smallest one is four and three quarters. Focus. This one is five and three quarters, which, by the way, is the same size as the cold steel. Uh, throwing stars. It this is a good size. It's it's heavy enough and um, it's easy to hold, easy to throw, easy to pull out of the target. I'm pretty much thinking five and three quarters is the perfect size. All right. Then uh, my friend Hungry Cheetah told me he made a star out of a circular saw blade and uh, his worked really well so I tried it I found a circular saw blade at the thrift store for three dollars and I cut it with a sawzall um, I couldn't imagine having to use a hacksaw because it's a really tough steel um, but yeah it turned out great it is it's huge it's a this is seven inches across I think it's a little too big um, and I've thought about grinding it down to something more reasonable but I don't know <laughs> it's kind of cool <laughs> it is big <laughs> and it works really well all right that is my throwing knife slash star slash spike collection <laughs> so far all right <laughs> in less than two weeks <laughs> Oh, man. All right. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Let me know if you have any questions. Peace.